Cool. So uh, we're now going to play a game of Spin Doctor. Uh, so what you don't know about, about me is that when I'm not an improver, I run a fictional talk show where I get a performer in to talk about their new fringe show. However, unfortunately for me, this performer has brought along their publicist, who's going to tell them to answer in the affirmative, the negative, or just avoid my question altogether. So, to get this game started off, could I please get the uh, title of Zach's new show? A Man Start, a brilliant new play about the internet, number seven. A Man Start, a brilliant new play about the internet. Nice. We'll be back in just a jiffy. <laughs> All right, lads. Uh, welcome to the talk show. Uh, lads, lads, lads. Uh, today we've got uh, one of the biggest boys of all time on our talk show. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm feeling a bit nervous. Um, I thought this was um, going to be uh, a nice panel show, but you seem a bit hostile. Oh, we've got a Joker lad over here on the live show. Can I get a yeah? Yeah! Yeah! All right, lad. Now, uh, you've written a play, haven't you? Um, yes, yes, I, yes, I have. I have written a play that is, um, that's correct. Yeah, and it's all about being a man, isn't mm. it? Yes, I think I, um, oh, well, um... Yes, I explore. Uh, yes, I, I, I would suppose I explore ideas of masculinity um, in the modern world. Yes, yes. So in that sense, it is about being a man, technically. Yes. Uh, what do you think the average man gets up to on the internet? Do you think it's a bit of uh, naughty stuff? Uh, yes. Um, you know, uh, a lot of men, and this is this is this has been well documented. A lot of men watch um, pornography. Um, a lot of men um, go on sites that um, display erotica, um, and that's one of the issues that I am um, that I address in the show. So, um, so yes, in answer to your question. Yeah, lads, lads, lads. Now, your show, uh, you talk like you said about pornography and its usage. Uh, you're a big supporter of it, right? Um, well, I think pornography it has a place in uh, in modern society, and I, don't, I think people should be able to express themselves online um, to an extent, but I think, um, I think it has to be regulated and I think we need to um, address um, certain ideas around body image, around um, realistic expectations um, when it comes to, to sex in particular in relation to masculinity. So, um, so uh, kinda. Right, but, so do you or do you watch it? Pornography? Yeah. Um, I've seen it. Um, kind of peripherally. Um, I've, I've, I'm aware of other people watching it, but I, I don't, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I seek it out myself, but then I have, I have stumbled upon it accidentally, um, unintentionally, but, um, but I wouldn't say I, uh, uh, it's not really about me. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, you say it's not really about you. The main character of your play is a brilliant boy, oh, isn't he? He's called Kevin. Uh, now, he's, uh, he's really a man-man, isn't he? Because we like that, don't we? A man-man. No, I mean, I, I think I would take issue with um, what you describe as a man-man. I mean, what is a man? Am I a man? Yes, um, technically. But, um, but what is a man? Um, and that's one, of the, uh, uh, that's one of the issues that I try and explore um, in the play. So I don't, I wouldn't say he's a man, man in the conventional sense of being a man. Um, but, um, he is a man, but he's not a man, man. Yeah, no, sounds like a right bowl of laughs. Um, how many people have seen your play? Uh, you said a hundred. Did they receive it well? No, no, it, um, they, um, well, I think they would have received it well if they'd stayed. But, yeah, um, if it wasn't so but, boring, maybe. Well, I think? mean, it picks up in the second half, but um, but um, I think it they would have. Your play's boring. No, it's it's not boring. It's very provocative, and I think it has a lot to say about who we are as a society and who we are as individuals. And I think maybe if people understood that, then they wouldn't get so angry about the price of the tickets, and they wouldn't feel the need to walk out midway through. So um. Right. 
Why is your play provocative? Is it Why the, is the play uh, provocative? Yeah. Is it because he's he's a bad man? Uh, yes, I think um, I think in many ways he expresses flaws that we all have, and I think people when they see that they they get angry. You know, they um, he's a he's a very jealous man. Um, you know, he, he's he's uh, hubristic, uh, competitive, arrogant, and I think people see a reflection of themselves in the man on stage, and they um, they find that very provocative. And also, um, he wears very tight trousers. Yeah, I'm sure people uh, see themselves a lot in a main character that uses the word hubristic 20 times in the space of half an hour. Uh, last question. Do you regret making a play four and a half hours long with not a single man? Yes. Do you think it could have been a bit shorter? No. Interesting. I think it could have been longer. Longer? Do you yeah, go my five avatar. hours? Sorry? You go five hours? Go six hours. Go seven hours, maybe. The editors of the Fringe are ruthless. They have no respect for artistry, for creativity, for artistic integrity. When I, when I wrote the first draft, you know how long it was? I've got no idea. It was four months. Four months. Wow. Well, it really sounds like your play is a kind of eye-catching, grabbing, snappy play that people really lap up at the fringe. Oh. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank you. Yeah. See you, mate. Bye, my man. <laughs>